My name is Katie Abbott. I'm a composer. I also work for the University of Melbourne at the Melbourne Conservatorium of Music and I'm the senior lecturer there in the composition program. What made me want to compose? It kind of hit me like a ton of bricks um, one day when I was about 26, 27. I hadn't wanted to compose before that time, but I was in a little school teaching music and I was writing small songs for the school and for the staff and I thought it would be a good idea to go and get more choral conducting experience. And I went to Sydney in oh, 1996 for the World Choral Symposium, which is held every four years and happened to be in Sydney and the school scraped together the funds for me to go. And instead of going to the choral conducting workshops, I found myself at the composition workshops and discussions and I came home with a bee in my bonnet. And it, it, it was as simple as attending that week. There was something in that week that, um, that made that bug bite. There are probably a couple of things that largely inspire me. Sometimes it's, it's just a sound or a collection of sounds or a combination of instrumental colours and I, it makes me zing and I think I want to use those and, and I'll, I'll do that and try and create some sort of mood or texture out of that. Sometimes it's a concept that's non-musical. For No Ordinary Traveller, you were after a piece for mezzo-soprano that was a substantial work, and I find text difficult to bump into, text that I really resonate with. So I thought setting um, text from four different women, or at least four different personalities, would work for me. Um, and so I explore, I like exploring different characters in music, not necessarily from a text perspective, although that is very strong in my work, but certainly from um, the point of view of different musical characters. Maybe that's my voice, is, is the juxtaposition of character. Exploring human things is important to me. It's more about the why than the how, I think. I think the, the how is the fun part where you can really try and do all sorts of different things, um, but the why certainly gives it its meaning for me. I do appear to have a particular process. It took me a while to understand that I do because it's a little haphazard, but uh, I've settled into it. I think I found my voice from writing, going from piece to piece to piece to piece. And it's only upon reflection, I think, that you can see where your voice has come from. I, I, I really don't think that I'm ever in a piece and I'm thinking, oh, I'm finding my voice. It's a bit dramatic. It's, it's a little bit more mysterious than that. But if I look back at my catalogue of works and I remember where I was and how I felt at each time when I was writing every particular piece, I can often see that I take a little thread from one piece and develop it further in a different way in another piece. Something else happens to click or gel or sound better than I thought it was going to. That makes it into the next piece. And I think over time, you develop a catalogue of sounds that then you start to put together that become your voice. And I think that's ever emerging.